The people inside this Fort Pierce home you're about to see say it sounded like a bomb going off. An out of control SUV caused a chain reaction crash that pushed a pickup right through the walls of the home and into a woman's bedroom. That woman and her roommate are telling their story tonight only to WPBF 25 News. Ari Hyde reports on the terrifying ordeal and why the women are thankful a driver is now in jail. According to investigators, the SUV veered off of Winter Garden Parkway here in Fort Pierce, drove through this porta potty, and then slammed into this truck that was parked right here. And it hit it with such force that it sent it through the wall right here, almost killing a woman who was lying in bed behind that wall. Unbelievable. Around 10 15 Thursday night, the SUV hit that truck with so much force, the truck went into the house right where Angelica Carbone was lying in bed. All of a sudden, like my, the bed jerks and I feel like shattered glass. It literally sounded like somebody either threw a bomb at the house or somebody was shooting at the house. It sounded like a bulldozer coming through my room. And this is the damage it caused. The wall partially collapsed. The impact just a few inches from Angelica's head. Investigators say the driver never tried to break. Angelica believes had he not hit the truck first, he would have killed her. No doubt in my mind, I would have been either decapitated. He would have crushed me. He would have he literally he would have crushed me. The St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office identifies that driver as David Record of Vero Beach. Deputies say they found drugs inside the SUV and arrested him. And they say Record told them he had been using drugs and couldn't remember the crash. You literally could have killed somebody and that person was my, my roommate. You made that choice to get behind that wheel and you just and you almost killed somebody. I have no sympathy for that man. On top of the damage to the house, Rhiannon's truck was totaled. This is what her husband uses for his tile business. They're not sure what to do now. Well, you got to rebuild, you know. You got to pick up the pieces and keep going. You know what I mean? What can you do? Rhiannon tells me she does have insurance for this truck, but also knows it's going to take a little while to get the money from that insurance. She has set up a GoFundMe account to help them pay the bills while they're waiting for that to happen. If you would like to help, we've put a link to that GoFundMe on our website, WPBF.com. In Fort Pierce, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.